Hey, what's going on? I'm Anton here with another GTA 5 LSPDFR episode where tonight we are going to do a sheriff patrol out here in Sandy Shores using this Ford Police Interceptor utility. Comes to us from a brand new pack created by JJ Dawkins. I love JJ's vehicles. He does an amazing job with them and I love all of the lights that he puts on the car. So I'm really looking forward to using this on today's patrol and it is going to be a good one because today, well, this happens then this happens and there's also some of that too all of it starts right now the sun just gone down it's dusky that's what it is my favorite time of the day actually dusky i love dusk look at that you can kind of see the sky is still lit up but down here on the ground Oh, it's getting dark. And that guy is Any driving. Oh, never mind. Area. Citizens report a suspicious vehicle, suspicious vehicle in Sandy East Shores. Joshua I was going to pull this guy over for driving without any headlights on. But we got a suspicious vehicle. Uh, possibly a DUI, potentially. Roger that, dispatch. Three, Adam, 10. Respond code three. Respond code three. I was going to respond code two. Roger that, dispatch. Three, Adam, 10. Responding code two. It looks like, it looks like actually they're going to be back there on uh yeah like uh, they're gonna be all the way back there they just crossed panorama right here watch out coming through all right here we go i'm gonna downgrade to code two so that we don't spook them Ooh, turn 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 there they are uh they just pulled over to the side of the road here i uh, dispatch uh, three adam 10 i have that vehicle located on uh, west joshua road we're gonna be 1038 suspect has come to a stop i don't know what he's doing on this side of the road so i'm gonna try to move him which might not be you know what i'm not gonna move him to the other side i'm just gonna move him oh that's this is not good let's just try to move him right up here that's good stop right there we, i know we're kind of blocking the road a little bit but possible dui here so i don't really want to mess around with him because before you know it he's gonna kill somebody so let me just jump into that computer and take a look here what we have and right off the bat we have an alert here for a wanted status. Looks like Diogo Moretti, 50 years old, has been stopped twice already, but he's got a warrant out for his arrest. Insurance is valid, registration is valid, not a stolen car, previous citations got driving while license is suspended back in November and expired registration in 2016. So here's what I am thinking. Let's try to get a backup unit here behind us. Hopefully they'll be able to pull up. We'll definitely need some backup here on our traffic stop. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, requesting a, an additional unit out here for my 1038 on <laughs> West needed. Joshua Road. So Joshua hopefully they'll Road. be able to just come up right behind me here. I believe that's the unit right there. We have the CBPI respond here to us. Exciting. All right, I'm right here on this side of the road. I know it's the wrong side. I'm sorry, officer. Oh, that's that really messed him up. He was not expecting me to be on this side of the road. Why is his car so dirty? Look at that dirty car. Officer, your car is a mess. It is so dirty, officer. Look at it. It is like covered in dirt. Whoa. Whoa, whoa what are you doing? Oh, 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 he just he just took off. He just took off. Okay. He just took off. Dispatch uh, 3 Adam 10. Where it looks like we're going to be 1080. Suspect is taking off from our traffic stop. Going to be westbound on West Joshua Road. Suspect is driving a silver sedan. I believe it is occupied times one. But we are initiating a 1080, a hot pursuit out here westbound West Joshua Road in this very dusky evening. I guess all evenings are dusky now that I think about it. But anyway, we'll talk about that some other time because we got ourselves a pursuit going on right now. And Suspect is continuing at decent speeds. Not too fast, not too slow. We're continuing still westbound uh, West Joshua Road. He might be trying to make a turn here, and yes, he is. He's going to be turning onto Calafia Road here. Don't know what happened to that other officer. Uh, looks like he's actually going to change his mind, go back to West Joshua Road. Dispatch uh, Code 4. No, 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 we're not Code 4. What the devil are you talking about? Dispatch. No, 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 we're not Code 4. We're still in pursuit of the suspect. i to try to maybe stop them again. I don't know what happened there. There's... For some reason, the game decided, LSPDFR decided that we're going to be code 4. And no. <laughs> no. No, we're not. All right. Let me see if I can get him out of the car. I'm going to go ahead here and get my gun out. I'm going to do a point of felony stuff. What? Now there's two people inside the car. What is going on? 
This is weird. Move, you're dumb. Driver, step out, out of Police, the vehicle with your hands stop up. Whatever the hell you're doing. That is not who was in the car originally. What happened? What is going on? Stay right there, passenger. Step out of the vehicle as well. Get your hands up. Stop. Get on the ground. Police. What is going on? That was not... We just had a guy in there, a male driver. And now he's been replaced with this old couple that has just appeared out of nowhere, literally out of thin air. Jessica Wells. Jessica, how did you get here? What happened to the other guy? Did you eat him? Maybe she did. Okay, let's go move her right over here. We still got our... Maybe that's the guy. Although it doesn't look like that uh, in the computer. He looked very different. Okay, Jessica, why don't you go ahead and uh, sit down for me? Let's get her on the ground. Let me arrest this guy. And their window is smashed in. What happened? No idea what happened. This is George Carsona. So definitely not our suspect. George, uh, while I try to figure this out, go ahead and sit down for me as well. His eyes look red. The pupils are dilated. He was not driving the car, so that is okay. All right, let me run this plate here. Dispatch, uh, this is 3 Adam 10. Can I get a 10? 28 check marker is 63 Union Boy George 298 is going to be the plate here for this car. Still registered to Diogo Moretti. He's got a suspended license. So what happened to Diogo? Was he not? I thought he was in the car. I swear. Probably when I go to edit this video, it's going to be the two people in there and I'm going to feel so stupid. But I swear Diogo was in the car when I originally pulled him over. Okay, let me just make sure he's not in the car. I'm going to give it a nice thorough search. Let's take a look here. Inside the vehicle, we have ourselves a... What was that? An open beer can, condoms, Viagra, I hide liberty, whatever. What was that? Oh my... This has been a big explosion out here, Dispatch. What the heck is it? It's, it's like a rolling piece of fiery garbage. It just, it just hit my suspect. Or whoever. What is going on with that bumper? What is what is happening there? That is just weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got to quiet the situation here. Dispatch. Oh, we got multiple vehicles on fire. And I'm going to have to move my car. It's going to explode. Uh, okay, we're going to have to get a fire. Uh, we're going to have to get fire out here. All right, my car right over here. Yeah, this is crazy. This is escalating quickly. Uh, dispatch, uh, this is 3 Adam 10. We got a major situation out here. Wow, there she goes. We got a major situation on West Joshua Road. Uh, looks like fire is already responding. Somebody called it in. Uh, but yes, we do need fire for sure. All right, let me get my fire extinguisher out. I'm going to try to help these guys because we got maybe a bit of fuel here on fire. Let's get it. Don't be yelling. Don't be screaming. I got the situation under control. That is not under control. This right there does not look like it's under control. This looks like it's out of control. Fire continuing to spread here. Oh, wow. Another big explosion. We've got a firefighter just flying back from this big explosion. We've got fire continuing to spread here towards this car. Okay, this is okay. This is going really bad really quick. All right. Um, dispatch. Um, this is three out of ten. Let me get my suspects out of the way. Stand up, sir. Come with me right here. Let's get you out of harm's way here. This thing is about to explode. Okay, let's get her as well. Oh, this fire is still continuing to creep up here now to my car. Let's get you. Let's get you right over here, ma'am. So you're nice and safe. You're nice and safe. Okay, something else is on sm oh, is on fire there. Oh, yeah, that car is on fire. Let me just jump into my vehicle and try to save my car. There's still a bit of fire burning right next to it. Go, 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 go. Firefighters are on scene. And more are responding. But this situation is just out of control. You remember when I said earlier I was in control? I was... The fire truck just went up in flames. What are you guys doing driving into that fire? That is nuts. Everybody's screaming. Everybody's yelling. Even the firefighters don't know what to do. That fire truck is about to explode. And... Oh, it didn't. Wow. Okay, guys, come on. You can do it. Oh, now that car is on fire. It's like a never-ending chain reaction out here on West Joshua Road. O-M-G. Okay, well, I still have the two suspects to deal with. I guess I'll keep my eye on this situation. We do have the fire department here on site, so I'll let them handle it. They know what they're doing. Nope. No, apparently they have no idea what they're doing. My... I just exploded and there was a firefighter right next to that car. What happened to him? Now that this car is now gonna get set on fire. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to close the road because we're gonna have more vehicles coming this way. And I do not want them coming here. 
Okay, let me just... Police line, do not cross. Road is closed. Road is closed. There we go. Just place these barriers right here. Yeah, this road is closed. Okay, yeah, see, I told you that car was going to catch on fire. Did I not say that? I said that. I said the car was going to catch on fire, and there it is. It is on fire. Firefighters, get out of the way. Clear the area. You're going to die. We have so many people on the ground. I cannot call paramedics because they're going to explode. Everyone is going to explode that arrives here on scene. <laughs> All right, watch this. Hold on. It's about to go up. It's... Oh, there we go. And even my car got hit. On... Believable turn of events out here. Okay, let me deal with the suspects. It looks like fire is finally out. I think I'd be able to call the paramedics here quickly. I'm just waiting for this fire to go out. We still have another fire truck right over there, which seems to be, well, for now, seems to be okay, but we'll see what happens. Some people trying to smash through the gets there. He's got a, a pet collar on him. And uh, you have, let's see what you have. You know what? I'm going to get these guys transported. They're going to go to the station. They might not be in any sort of trouble. Uh, but I just don't have the time to deal with them right now. Dispatch, can I get another unit out here on uh, West Joshua Road um, coming up to US Route 68? Uh, I have two people in custody. Let's just get a multi-transport for these guys. And they're just going to teleport out of here, which is fine by me. And Dispatch, we need a 1052 here to my location uh, as well because we have multiple people dead on the ground. And look at my car. My poor, poor... FPIU, which I try to move out of the way, but it still got hit by the shockwave. There's a big explosion here with this vehicle blowing up. And I believe there's the paramedics or the, rather, the first responders. Again, firefighters showing up. These guys, at least, are not going to explode since the fire seems to be out. We have so many people. One? Okay, so hold on. One person right there by the car. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six over there. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As the ambulance drives over them, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen people. I counted. Oh, wait, more people over here. Uh, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen people involved in this. What can only be described as a major situation on West Joshua Road on this very dusky evening. That's going to be the name of the episode now. Dusky Evening. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, so paramedics are here trying to resuscitate the suspects, I guess I'll... or the victims, rather. Oh, he's got a gun! He's got... he's just shooting at the paramedic! Hey, drop the gun! Drop the gun! We got shots fired here! We got shots fired! Oh, watch out! We got another paramedic! What is happening? With this situation, the paramedic just resuscitated him. He proceeded to get up and use his shotgun to fire at the paramedic. Wow. Just wow. Well, it's the scene that keeps on giving. All right, I'm going to hang around here for a little bit. I'll see if anything else exciting happens out here. If not, we'll be back on patrol. And if something else happens, I guess... Well, I'll be back with more on this scene. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam Town. Looks like for now we're going to be code 4 out here. But you never know with the situation. You just never know. 16 people deceased in that accident back there on West Joshua Road. 16 people dead tonight. And I don't know what started that, but a car exploded for whatever reason. That chain reaction. Attention all units. Citizens and looks like here's another call. Suspected Sonora meth lab. Freeway. On Sonora Freeway. Interesting. Okay, well, looks like uh, they don't have a highway patrol unit to take three, care of that. Adam 10. Respond code 3. Uh, Roger that dispatch. Uh, 3, Adam 10, responding code 3. So we're going to be heading out here to US Route 13. Looks like somebody called 911 with a report of a possible meth lab somewhere there, somewhere out there rather on us route 13 so we are making our way over there code three to check it out see what's going on now this area is known for drugs and there is a lot of meth labs and just people using their houses using their vehicles to make drugs we like labs to distribute drugs so all sorts of fun stuff 
And I will not be surprised if this is a meth lab indeed, but we're going to go check it out. Looks like it should be right on the other side of the interstate here for us. Yep, I think actually I see it right in the middle of the interstate here. That's interesting. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, there's people out here in the middle of the road. Uh, oh yeah, they got, we got people running. Dispatch, uh, three, Adam, ten. I need an additional unit out here. Uh, code three. I got, uh, three individuals running southbound US Road 13 in the live lanes right now. Looks like we have an unmarked unit responding as well. They must have been in the area here when they got the drug call. Come on, officers. i try to block these guys off. I'm going after this guy right here. I'm gonna try to block him off like that. Oh, he just ran into my car. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You got nowhere to go, buddy. You got nowhere to go. Give up. You're going to get tased. He's running back towards officers here. Let's go. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Taser deployed. Taser deployed. Looks like the officers got the other suspect. And we still have the third suspect that was running in the middle off. there. Um, I'm not sure where she went. It was a female suspect. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Do we have a uh, helicopter available to assist us? Uh, we got another suspect somewhere out here on the run. Let me go ahead and arrest this guy. I'm going to quickly process him. Looks like the other officers are trying to take off after her. It looks like the helicopter is right there now and potentially has the person located. There might be hovering right over him or her rather. Uh, eyes look red. Pupils are dilated. I wonder why. Of course, she has nothing to do with the meth lab. No, 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 no. Let's take a look here. See if he's got anything illegal on him. Uh, uh, knuckle dusters, a cigar, a length of rubber hosing, a patch of tobacco, and a silencer is what Carl Webster has on his person. Dispatch, I need a pickup here on US Route 13. Got, uh, two suspects now, uh, here in custody. They're gonna just teleport things to my multi-transport. I don't know why it does that. I think that's actually one of Albo's mods, the arrest manager, and it's supposed to send a unit, but it still teleports them. I don't know why. Okay, so we are going after the person. It looks like they're running into the mountains now. Oh, I think I see them. I, I, can, I can see the helicopter shining the spotlight. And I'm gonna try to come through here. Oh my, so many accidents I'm causing. So many accidents, people just freaking out. They're like, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, so we definitely have suspect running. Female suspect continues to run. She's up there in the mountains now. I wonder if I can just off-road it here. Here we go. This is not sanctioned, but I'm going for it. Why is the helicopter shining the spotlight on me? Shine the spotlight on the suspect running out here. What are you guys doing? Uh, they're idiots. All right, let's see here. Where is she? She is up there somewhere. Oh, man, I won't be. Oh, hello, officer. Won't be able to really off-road it here. I'm going to try. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, this is steep. This is really steep. I should not be doing this. Oh, that's a steep drop-off. Okay, okay. Thank goodness I am in the FPIU. If I was in a Charger or CVPI, forget about it. Uh, oh, this is not, this is not, yeah. Oh, there she is. I see her. Okay, I'm going right after her. Go, 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 FBIU. In real life, I don't think this is possible, but we are playing GTA 5 after all. Okay, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. So I'm just going to run her over. I'm just going to run. Yep. It's like that. Like that. Oh, oh. No, I'm rolling the car. No, my God, this is crazy. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, hit the tree as well. This is not... Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone off-roading. Oh, this is just terrible. I'm barely alive, but... Uh, she's... Is she still running? Oh, well, the helicopter's on her, at least. Uh, dispatch, I've had a minor accident, a minor 1050 with my FPIU. I'm still in pursuit of the suspect, though. All right, so it looks like the helicopter is finally on her. We got an officer there with her. Look at that. That's really cool. The spotlight here on the grass. Kind of makes it look really creepy purple. Creepy purple grass. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she's rolling too. They see her rolling. Let's they hating. Right <laughs> look at her. Look, she's rolling. She can't put up her hands. She's just rolling down the hill. All right. Get on the ground, ma'am. Right Get on the ground. Stop rolling. Party's over. Get oh, on the ground. You're dead. All right. So, so far, I have wrecked two cars because that other one was wrecked in that explosion. And this one was... Uh, totally my fault because I shouldn't have gone off-roading and I did and I rolled the car. Okay, so she's got narcotic narcotic intoxication as well. The eyes look red, pupils are dilated. Let's try to get her back to my vehicle. I <laughs> just look so bad. So, so bad. I mean, the lights look fantastic and everything, but the car, the car is so damaged. All right, ma'am, you got anything illegal on you? Any weapons, drugs? Let me take a look here. Uh, we are code four, of course, on the pursuit. Mosquito repellent, which she kind of needs out here. And a flashlight on Molly Jones, dispatch, uh, this is 3 Adam 10, can I get a 1027 check 
on a Molly Jones. Let's find out who she is. She's got a warrant out for her arrest. Hello, Molly. There we go. So she's definitely going to jail. Um, okay, let's do a quick drug elizer test because I noticed the whole eye situation, something going on with her eyes, all red, dilated, possibly cannabis. Let's find out here. Yeah, pop cannabis. There you go. I called it. See, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get her into my broken car and we're going to try to come back to the meth lab because I do want to check it out. I want to see if the meth lab is still there. I want to give that a bit of a search. And then we'll have to try to transport her or get somebody to come out and pick her up to uh, to get her to the hospital. Uh, or, well, she, she might not need to go to the hospital. She needs to go to jail. But, all right, I'm going to try to make my way out of here by doing some more off-roading in my really broken down car. And I will meet you back at the meth lab. Alrighty, there's the meth lab right there. Let me just try to cross the road. God, he almost... Oh, my... They almost smashed into me, these people. Like, what are you guys doing? Hello? Anybody gonna stop? No? Flashing lights? Sirens? Like... Hello? Do you guys even pay any attention whatsoever? Oh, oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Come on. Okay, that's it. You know what? Here. Come on, come over here. Oh, right there in the face. So much for realism on this episode of LSPDFR. Dispatch, uh, this is 3 out of 10. I have a suspect that fell on some bullets out here on US Route 13. Can you send an ambulance? Attention That's right, he units. fell on some bullets. You saw it. You saw it. All right, let me take a look here inside the what is definitely a meth lab because of all of the evidence we found so far. I'm just going to quickly try to uh, hop the uh, guardrail here and give it a... Nice thorough search, and we do have paramedics uh, hella arriving here to help our poor suspect that fell on those bullets. A pound of marijuana, a zippo lighter, chemistry equipment, prohibited precursor chemicals, and several pounds of methamphetamine. There we go. So, that uh, is affirmative. That is a meth lab. Uh, let's just run the plate here. Uh, dispatch, I need a 1028 a marker here on this meth lab is going to be... 60 Ocean Sam George 966. And the paramedics are here. Registered to Chris Canson. Expired insurance. Proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Well, Roger that, dispatch. I did proceed with caution. Okay. Well, let's get her picked up while I deal with the rest of the situation. Dispatch, I also need a 1091 on US Route 13 for a suspect I have in custody. They are going to try to resuscitate. Uh, he's gone. So he's gone. I'll call the coroner, clean the scene up, and be back on patrol. Roger. And we are back in Sandy Shores here on this dusky evening. Now, I'm following this pickup truck. I saw him earlier driving around with no headlights, and then he saw me, and he immediately switched them on. But too late, buddy, because I already saw you without any headlights. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate a traffic stop here. Might just get out with a ticket. I'm just going to give him a headlight ticket and send him on his way. Although he is now driving very strangely. What are you doing? That is not... Oh, that was a really bad turn. All right, let's... <laughs> I mean, that was really bad. That was really, really bad. Okay. Uh, let's see here if he stops at the stop sign. If not, it's going to be another stoplight or stop sign ticket here. Um, And he's just going to roll through. Okay. So there's another reason for me to pull him over. All right, let's go ahead and uh, initiate our traffic stop. I'm going to light him up, pull him over, uh, something like that. Let's just get him to move up a little bit here past these signs to the side of the road right here. And maybe he's just going to walk away with some tickets. Although now I have some reason to believe maybe he might have been drinking today. So we will give him a quick breathalyzer, drug elizer test here, ask him some questions. Uh, we're kind of blocking this road here. I'm going to get him to move up just a tad towards that bush. Do not go back on the road. Okay. Slow down there. Uh, dispatch, uh, this is 3 Adam 10. Go ahead and show me, uh, 1038 West Joshua Road, right outside of Sandy Shores here, with a silver Saddler. I'm gonna jump into our computer. Let's take a look, see what we have on the Saddler. And it looks like actually everything checks out. Valid insurance, valid registration. Carl Stanson's got a valid license. No warrants for his arrest. Has been stopped four times before. He's got license while revoked back actually in February of, uh, this year and failure to present registration 
two days earlier in February as well. And then December it fall in an accident. So he's got a couple of issues here with traffic. But OK, maybe he's just a terrible driver. But let's go ahead and talk to him, see what's going on. We will give him the proper tests and he might just walk away with more tickets tonight. I'm just going to make sure here I'm going to put a spotlight here on him. Just make sure there's nobody else in the vehicle. Yeah, vehicle is occupied times one. Let's get the spotlight on there like that. And let's go talk with our driver. I do love the side runners here on this uh, FPI. They look really nice. JJ does an awesome job with his vehicles, I must say. Okay, let's go take a look here. Uh, good evening there, sir. My name is Anton with the Blaine County Sheriff. How are you tonight? The reason why I'm pulling you over, actually a couple of reasons why I'm pulling you over. Number one, I saw you driving around earlier with no headlights on. So that's what initially caught my attention. And then number two, making a turn right here off Marina, uh, coming onto West Joshua Road. You roll through the stop sign there, sir. So I was right behind you and you did not even stop. I mean, you slowed down, but you did not stop. You're supposed to stop with those signs. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at your driver's Get license. Off. If you can pass me all of your paperwork there, Mr. Stanson. Thank you very much. And Mr. Stanson, have you been drinking at all tonight? Nope. Okay, all right. Have you taken any illegal drugs recently? Uh, am I being detained? Uh, yes, you are being detained right now for some questioning here, Mr. Stanson. Okay, hang on tight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double check all the information that I got from you and we'll take it from there. Okay, I'll be right back. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Can I get a 1027 check on a Carl Stanson? Let me just double check him here through a dispatch. Looks like he does have a valid license for the time being. No active warrants. Let's run the plate as well. Dispatch, I also need a 1028. Marker is 87 Tom Tom Ida. 288. It's going to be a silver Saddler. There we go. No flags. No 1099. We're registered to Carl Stanson. Perfect. Okay, let's go back, talk to Mr. Stanson. Okay, sir. Uh, let's do a quick test here. Now, uh, you said you did not drink. So we're going to do a quick breathalyzer test. I'm going to ask you to blow into this device for me. Just keep blowing. And let's see here what it comes back as. Keep blowing. There we go. Pass it back to me. And ooh, ho, 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 he's dangerously close to the legal limit. As a matter of fact, I now have reason to believe he might be drinking and driving. I mean, point oh seven two is really close to the limit. He could have been over the limit like half an hour ago when he got behind the wheel. So that is not good for him. Okay, sir, go ahead and uh, step out of the vehicle for me. Oh, we got a coyote right next to us. Hello, coyote. Come over here to the front of your vehicle. Uh, sir, at this time, I will be placing you under the rest, uh, under arrest you here, rather. Slime ball. You slime ball. Uh, if I can get him to cooperate with me. Uh, turn around for me, sir. I will be placing you under arrest for uh, driving under the influence of alcohol. You will be going down to the police station for a blood test. I have every reason to believe now that you got behind that wheel of the uh, truck here while you were oh, way over the limit, while you were over 0.08 because right now you blew 0.72 whoa that guy was going fast too bad i'm not running radar well good for him bad for me okay so here's what we're gonna do sir we're gonna do another quick uh test here this is a drug -alizer. i'm gonna see here if you had uh any sort of drugs tonight so just put that in your mouth and then hand that back to me or i'll do that for you since you're handcuffed a uh, negative on cannabis and cocaine so he's gonna be okay for drugs just give him a quick pad down see if he's got anything illegal on him sir any weapons any more drugs an IED? Whoa, that's a weapon. Mr. Stanson, why do you have an improvised explosive device? He's gonna pff, explode. All right, sir. I'm gonna confiscate that. What were you trying to do? I mean, you, you, you've you been drinking, you got an IED on you that looks like you created at home. Go ahead and sit here in the back of my vehicle. Let's put him into the back of the FBIU here as he gets in. I'm gonna go ahead and search his car. See, this is a good bus. And all that he did to get my attention was drive without any headlights on. If he would have had his headlights on, I would have never, ever, I would have just drove right past him. Let's take a look inside the car, see what we have in the Saddler here. Quad cab, it's got a pair of underwear with mm, brown stains on it. That is disgusting. Okay, uh, dispatch, uh, can you send a 1051 to my location on West Joshua Road for the Saddler? We'll get the GM Anton Z Towing Company to come out and pick this Saddler up. There they are. There's the tow truck right there. That's going to get hooked up. And we are going to be 10-7 back to the station with one suspect in custody.
And that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching another episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not is my question to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.